Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. May our Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Uh, each of us call to mind our sins. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have mercy. mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ have mercy. mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, mercy. have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. O God, with the grace of adoption, chose us to be children of light. Grant, we pray that we may not be wrapped up in the darkness of error, but always be seen to stand in the bright light of your truth. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Amos. Amaziah, the priest of Bethel, sent word to Jeroboam, king of Israel. Amos has conspired against you here within Israel. The country cannot endure all his words. For this is what Amos says, Jeroboam shall die by the sword, and Israel shall surely be exiled from its land. To Amos, Amaziah said, off with you, visionary, flee to the land of Judah. There earn your bread by prophesying, but never again prophesy in Bethel, for it is the king's sanctuary and a royal temple. Amos answered Amaziah, I was no prophet, nor have I belonged to a company of prophets. I was a shepherd and a dresser of sycamores. The Lord took me from following the flock and said to me, Go, prophesy to my people, Israel. Now hear the word of the Lord. You say, Prophesy not against Israel. Preach not against the house of Isaac. Now thus says the Lord, Your wife shall be made a harlot in the city, and your sons and daughters shall fall by the sword. Your land shall be divided by measuring line, and you yourself shall die in an unclean land. Israel shall be exiled far from its land. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our responsorial psalm, the judgments of the Lord are true. And all of them are just. The judgments of the Lord are true, and all of them just. The law of the Lord is perfect, refreshing the soul. The decree of the Lord is trustworthy, giving wisdom to the simple. The judgments of the Lord are true, and all of them are just. The precepts of the Lord are right, rejoicing the heart. The command of the Lord is clear, enlightening the eye. The judgments of the Lord are true, and all of them are just. The fear of the Lord is pure, enduring forever. The ordinances of the Lord are true, and all of them are just. The judgments of the Lord are true, and all of them are just. They are more precious than gold, than a heap of purest gold, sweeter also than syrup or honey from the comb. The judgments of the Lord are true, and all of them are just. With you and with your spirit. spirit. The reading of, from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. Lord. After entering a boat, Jesus made the crossing and came into his own town. And there people brought to him a paralytic lying on a stretcher. When Jesus saw their faith, he said to the paralytic, Courage, child, your sins are forgiven. At that, some of the scribes said to themselves, This man is blaspheming. Jesus knew what they were thinking and said, why do you harbor evil thoughts? Which is easier to say, your sins are forgiven, or to say, rise and walk? But that you may know that the Son of Man has authority on earth to forgive sins. He then said to the paralytic, rise, pick up your stretcher, and go home. He rose and went home. When the crowd saw this, they were struck with awe and glorified God, who had given such authority to men. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. I like to think that all of you know who Cardinal Dolan is. Cardinal Dolan is the Bishop of New York. And Cardinal Dolan would probably be in the conversation for a successor for Francis. In the conversation. 
I don't know if any American will ever be Pope, but Father Gardo is waiting for the call. So we'll see if he gets it. But in one of his books, he tells a story. He was the uh, rector of North American College in Rome, a building I have never seen and never will see. It's the West Point of Catholic seminaries, let's call it. Students go there from all over the world in Rome. And uh, he was the big boss and whatever. And he's a good man. Cardinal Dolan, I've met Cardinal Dolan, spoken to him. And uh, so they're interviewing candidates. And the one guy from North America came over and they were interviewing him. And somebody on the committee said, well, why do you want to be a priest? And he said, I don't. And they said, wait, this kid flew all the way over from you know, North America to tell us he doesn't want to be a priest. And they said, why are you here? And he said, I don't want to be a priest. And they said, then why are you here? He said, because God wants me to be a priest. And Dolan said to the guy next to him, make sure we ordain this guy. And I'm reminded of that story in the reading, kind of a long reading that Nina had for us today. The guy said, look, I didn't want this job to be a prophet. I was doing something else and enjoying it very much. And the guy said, no, I got other plans for you, fella. And he's getting criticized and, you know, crucified, metaphorically speaking. And they want to throw him out of the area. And he said, that's my job. I got to tell the people what they need to hear. And that's what I didn't ask for this. But that's the way it is. It's what God wanted. I can't believe that reading falls today. The, the guys were ordained on Saturday. Three guys. We needed 30, but we got three. We'll take three. And I think today is their first day on the job. I think if they said to me, Edwards, what, what one word, would, like what, what piece of advice would you give us? I would say, don't worry about being popular. I would say, worry about telling the people the truth. If everybody's saying, oh, we all love Father X, Y, Z, that means he's probably not doing his job. He's not telling the people that this is wrong and, and you need to change. I don't like doing it. I don't like doing that to myself, hear criticism. But that's what the prophet does. Being loved by everybody is cheap grace. And I hope those guys have learned it's not about being popular. It's about being respected and truthful. They're beginning a long career as priests today. May God indeed be with them. Let us stand, my friends, and we'll offer our petition to Almighty God. For believers who suffer persecution and for non-believers seeking truth, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For a world filled with peace and security, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For civilians caught in the midst of war and for family members trying to keep peace, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our Lord. prayer. For belief, that we will, for belief that what we ask for in faithful prayer we will receive from our loving God, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For the containment of the COVID-19 virus and its eventual eradication, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For all the faithful departed, and especially for Helen and Leo Nedzwicki, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, Lord hear our Lord. prayer. Well, God, hear all of our prayers, we pray. For all our, our sick, our family uh, parishioner who has lost a family member being buried today, that all our prayers will find here with Almighty God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Lord God, hear all our prayers through this Eucharist draw us closer to you. We make all our prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. 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 friends, that my sacrifice and yours be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. Lord, accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all us, Holy Church. O God, who graciously accomplished the effects of your mysteries, grant, we pray, that the deeds by which we serve you may be worthy of these sacred gifts. We ask this through Christ, our Lord. Amen. May the Lord be with you. And your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, 
mighty and eternal God. Through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word, through whom you made all things, whom you sent as Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary. Fulfilling your will, gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and make manifest the resurrection. So with the angels and saints, we declare your glory as we say, Holy, 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 holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread. Giving thanks, he broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, I need of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. Similar way, sup, Randy, to your chalice. Once more, giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, drink from it. This is the chalice of my blood, blood of a new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation. Giving thanks, they've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Joseph, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them, Lord, into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her devoted husband, with the blessed apostles, martyrs, and saints, who have pleased you throughout the ages. May we merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may always be free from sin, safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not in our sins, by the faith of your church. Graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. who we'll live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Amen. Let's offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter into my room, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. May this divine sacrifice we have offered and received fill us with your life, Lord, we pray. The bound to you in lasting charity, we may bear fruit that lasts forever. We ask this through Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. With your spirit. May God bless us, our families, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Mass is ended. You may now come forward to receive the body of Christ. Thanks be to God. Thank you to God.